Hi, I'm Katie Everly, and I teach first grade at Bell Elementary. Today, I'm going to model subtraction to 100 using a hundreds chart. Josh got $70 for his birthday. He spent $30 yesterday. How many dollars does Josh have now? Now I'm going to look back at the problem and pick out the keywords that show me it's a subtraction problem. I see that he had $70 originally. Then he spent $30 yesterday. And the question asks, how many dollars does Josh have now? Now I'm looking for the keywords that show me I need to subtract. And I see that he spent $30 yesterday. So that tells me that I need to subtract $30. Now I'm going to write in the equation for today. And I know that it is 70 minus 30. Today I'm going to use the 100s chart to solve 70 minus 30. First I'm going to start at the number 70 and I'm going to count backwards 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So I know my answer is 40. I can also use the strategy of counting backwards by tens. So starting at 70, and I count 10, 20, 30, which also puts me at the answer of 40. Now I can finish my equation. 70 minus 30 equals 40. I now know that Josh has $40 left from his birthday.